<laughs> there you all are. Ah, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McLeod. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. It's time for the Scotty McLeod Show. Welcome, 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 I say. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for the world. Not just one nation, but all nations. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in, and a very warm welcome to you. I say great to have you with us now. It promises to be a superb program tonight. Those of you who are watching I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. You can have it on, turn down in the background. But this is McClue time. This is nine o'clock on a Sunday evening. That's time for the Scotty McClue Show. Everybody say dinky-doo, Peter Martin. All right, Scotty, more than all right, Peter Martin, in fact. Absolutely dinky-doo. Now, as I say, we've only got one hour, so as quick as you can, uh, let's have you all on and let's get the chit-chat going. Neil McGonry, Charles McLaughlin, Ben Lucas, Will McIntosh, Ian Walker, all the usual characters are there, thank goodness. Lovely to have you with us, and as I say, a very warm welcome. Evening, Ben. Evening, Ben, says Ben Lucas himself. So he's saying good evening to himself. Scotty, even, he corrected that very, very quickly, and he's saying good evening to me, Scotty McLuhan. Good evening to all of you. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, Scotty, says Jamie Michael Wells, and uh, Martin Park is watching. Hello, Martin. Lovely to have you with us. This is the World's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McLuhan. Now, it's show number 60. Have you missed something? Have you missed some of the previous shows? Show 60, just for you, dinky do, I say. Marvellous stuff. So there we are. So number 60, I can't believe that we've got here, but we have. It's tremendous. Do you want me to sit back a little bit? We've moved everything slightly forward. How's that? Is that better? There you go. Wonderful stuff. Right, Julianne Scott, Rod Hardest is watching. One of the finest wizards I ever had. The first wizard I had. So there we are. And uh, Dougie White's watching Dinky Doo, Dave Humphreys, Matthew Brown. Neil O'Gonry says, evening, greetings, Sir Scotty. Greetings, yes. And a bit of a spat tonight. I very innocently put up that Scotty McClue was Britain's brightest rising star. And we had some tiny minds coming on going, oh, no, Britain, no, 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 Britain. Yes, Britain. Scotty McClue is massive throughout Britain. Britain is a land mass. It is nothing political. Don't confuse that with British and Britishness. So read things properly. It says on it, Britain's brightest rising star, not British. All right. There's no such country as Britain. It's a land mass. And when people go, oh, Scotland's going to leave Britain. Scotland can't geographically, physically or scientifically Leave Britain, ever. Andy Simpson's watching. Dinky do good evening, Scott, he says, Dinky. Hello, John Robertson's watching. John, you should have got that. You were one of the ones that was struggling with that. Uh, Scotty, I've got a great idea. Get an old passenger ship, Bertha in the river, and let the homeless have a room on it. One in every city. Ian Walker, I came up with that 25 years ago, and it was for prisoners. I thought, get the prison ships when the prisons were overcrowded. Get the old prison ships back, the old Hulk uh, that you had in the days of Charles Dickens, when Magwitch, I tell you this boy, when he escaped from the uh, from the prison ship. Good evening, Scotty. Tam Ramage is here. So they are good idea, though, Ian. Yes, absolutely. We shouldn't really have homeless. Homeless is a political thing, and it should be sorted out. Margaret Thatcher asset stripped Scotland, and they took all the money to London to make her pals richer and richer and richer, and uh, or well, have more money. I wouldn't say richer, just have more money, because I've seen very little connection between having money and being rich. Uh, so there you are. I am one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have any money. Uh, good evening, Scotty Dinky. Do, says Andy McCrory. Scotty of the Britons, says Ian Walker. Absolutely, yes, Britain is a landmass. Captain, my captain, says George Raffin. Dinky do, George. Absolutely. Have you ever come across something like that, guys? You've very innocently posted something, and the half-witted people that don't read it or understand it come back at you fast. Fast. So there we are. Uh, good evening, Scott. This is Steve Burroughs. Lovely to have you with us, Steve. Welcome, 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 I see. Now, 
Which one of you saw this afternoon's mini broadcast? 36 seconds of delight and joy for your edification. I did it out walking the dog, and you can see the winter light. It's there. It's there on Facebook. Uh, Sean McCormick, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. So, what does Britain mean to you? And I'm not talking Westminster, not talking Britishness. I'm not talking Scotland and England. I'm talking about the actual geographical land mass. So there we are. And uh, never seen so many fat Santas the day in Glasgow. So Ian Walker, yes, and not one of them with a red costume on him. Uh, God and Elric's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, it really depends what John Robertson you're talking to, Scotty, says Ian Johnson. Is there another John Robertson? I say, one that, uh, have, the one that posted... The one that posted tonight on Scotty McClue. God and Elric's watching and Ron Stewart. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Broadcasting live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms just for you, saying Dinky do. I know you've got uh, I'm a Celeb. We're up against it. But nevertheless, they should still get an audience, even although they're up against Scotty McClue. John McEwen and Colin Roger, you're watching. Hi, Scotty boy, says John Robertson. John Robertson, are you the one who posted earlier about Britain? So there you are. <coughs> Britain, is that not a Roman word, says Ian Walker? No, I think you're thinking of Britannia, Ian Walker. Hang on. <coughs> Did we touch on the loggy last week? I've still uh, got the, the barley water. Mm. Ah, that's lovely. Dinky News is Ron Stewart. He's come and joined us. John McEwen's watching. And Colin Roger, lovely to have you with us. Now, if you've got the telly on, if you're watching I'm a Celebrity, have it turned down in the background because 9 o'clock on a Sunday night is Scotty McClue time. So there we are. Dinky do, says Ron. Dinky do to you. Martin Monaghan's watching. A very warm welcome to you, Martin. Lovely to have you with us now. Guys, We've only got an hour. What did you think of Brexit this week? I think that uh, the uh, British, the British um, delegation are doing a wonderful job of obfuscation. It's looking great, you know. I don't think we'll ever be seeing Brexit, to be quite honest with you. Uh, to me, that's going to be a name only. People should tape Celebrity and watch it later, says Steve Burrows. They should be watching Scotty McClure just now. And catch up with celebrity on catch up. Shared, says Ron Stewart. Excellent. Chris Harley. Dinky do, Chris Harley. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. If you're watching us in India, Africa, America, Canada, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, tell us where you're watching from. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. I should think so, Alfred James Wright. Where have you been? So there you are. Scotty, I know why you're a royalist. So there you are. Royalists, and you have a big red hand. Well, the, the big red hand is the hand of justice. It's actually Norwegian, Ian. So there you are. So I'm afraid you haven't got that right. Like so many things you don't get right. But nevertheless, we will get there in the end because you can rely on McClue to educate you. Uh, Tina Law's watching. Dinky do, Tina. Chris Harley, lovely to have you with us. Ben Fasakhali, how are you, Ben Fasakhali? Come on and talk to us. I say from Liverpool. Uh, we're watching from Wales. We're driving about looking for snow, says Julianne Scott. I know. I was laughing today. Somebody said um, uh, M5. So there you are. I said, don't talk about M5. It's a secret. So there you are. Um, yes. Where is the snow in Wales, I say? How are the tenors down in Dowlith? Uh, John Robertson, Professor, is who I meant. Thought control, says Ian Johnson. Ah, yes, bit of thought control. Uh, so there we go. Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. He's watching as well. Dinky do, Alex Robertson. I hope the pantomime is going well. Uh, you enjoy your walk today, says Ron Stewart. I did. And the dog enjoyed it just as much. He may even have enjoyed it more because his tail goes all the time going up into the Black Mountains. So Julianne Scott, um, back, take me back to the Black Mountains. Uh, surely Scotland should have a hard border 
with Northern Ireland to stop the smugglers. <coughs> Ian Walker, you are funny. So there we are. Um, I think, to be honest with you, Scotland's had a hard boiler, a hard, hard boiler, a hard boiler of an egg, <coughs> a hard border with Northern Ireland. And I'll tell you for why. Um, I travelled up from uh, from the south of Ireland into the north of Ireland, and I, the, because there was no border, I didn't even know when I'd actually crossed. I had to ask in the shop. I said, "Excuse me, am I still in the Republic or am I in the North?" She said, "Oh no, you're still in the Republic." So there you go. So fantastic stuff. And then we get into the North uh, and got into um, into Derry or London Derry, depending on where you're from. Um, so there we are. Thanks much, Mr. Gotti. Dinky news is Chris Harley. Not at all. So there we are. But it wasn't until I travelled, uh, sailed, I should say, travelled from Ballycastle to Campbelltown. And the policeman in Campbelltown was very interested in the car and was questioning me. Now that suggested to me a hard border between Scotland and Northern Ireland, unless it was just informal. You know, a bit of, I'll just check this chap here, see if he's on the level, you know. Uh, pantomime's going well, Scotty and Motherwell, dinky do. London Derry, says Ron Stewart. Other people may call it just Derry, they may shorten it, Ron Stewart. So there you are. But we'll run with uh, we'll run with London Derry just now. Everybody knows where we mean. Uh, I'm serious, says Ian Walker. Ian Walker, I don't think you've ever been serious in your life, but... We'll take your word for it. We'll run with that and see how you get on. So there, who backs Ian Walker that there should be a hard border between Scotland and Northern Ireland? Well, just Scotland and Ireland, really, if you're talking about because it's a soft border between Ireland and Northern Ireland. Uh, two unions with the UK, 1603, the Union of the Crowns, and the Financial 1707 Union. Those who support independence need to get indie before any discussion takes place about coming out of the 1603 Union. Well, we'd never come out of the 1603 Union because the two crowns were united via Scotland. So the monarchy is essentially a Scottish institution. James VI of Scotland, J.B. Stuart, becoming James I of, uh, of Britain. So there you are. So don't get confused with the Union of Crowns. And the royal family would want guarantees long before we went for independence that everything would be absolutely dinky-doo for them. So there you go. So I think what you need to do, you need to say there'll be no uh, breaking up of the crowns and uh, there will be independence for Scotland, but the Queen will be the Queen. So there you go. I had a guy from Coat Bridge doing his nut tonight, actually giving me a wee bit of lip. So there you are. So I've blocked him, I've banned him. Uh, so he's gone. He was cheeking up. Uh, the people in the north have one big ear larger than the other, says Ian Walker. Are you talking about the north of Scotland, Ian Walker? Mark Montgomery is watching Dinky Doo, Mark. Dinky Doo, Scotty, mind your feet in this weather. No, no hard border. The Irish are nice. Uh -huh. <coughs> I don't think the Brexit thing will actually happen, or if it happens, it'll only happen in name only. The superb obfuscation going on at the moment. Very important too not to pay a penny because 40 billion is what Scotland gives to Westminster every year and the EU are wanting that as a payoff. So there you are. Uh, Mark Montgomery, didn't you do? David Sharp, lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet and we're live on Facebook Live, just for you, discussing all sorts of things. Uh, Alfred James Wright, um, so there we are. I was reading a story about Prince Philip, uh, so there you are. Excellent, good for you, Alfred James Wright, a fine fellow, Prince Philip, a marvellous man. And he is, uh, wait till we see, 96, he's in his 97th year. So plenty of hope for McClure. Leanne Finney's watching, Dinky Doo, Leanne, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. Now, we're just coming up to a share point, guys. So uh, first share point of the evening. I know some of you will be watching I'm a Celeb, but Scotty McClue obviously uh, takes priority. And as somebody said earlier, really, I'm a Celeb should be being recorded for catch-up later. So there we are. But uh, let's uh, start sharing. 
share, 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 as quick as you like. And also, if you can type, 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 I am watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. Come and join us. Right click. I'm just looking at my computer here. Uh, right click on the Scotty McClue page and take the URL and stick that under your message. And then people will know what they're looking for. And they'll be joining us all the time. Fantastic. You'll see one of the programs is uh, coming up to the 17,000 live views. Fantastic. Uh, we should be talking about building either a tunnel or a bridge to Northern Ireland. Then be thinking there should be a hard border, says Martin Modicum. Absolutely. Well, there's plenty of ferries to Northern Ireland, of course. Uh, Scotty, uh, the DUP don't know what they want either. If they don't want in the single market or the customs union, why have they, ag why have they agreed to special conditions? I was very surprised at Theresa May going and uh, phoning um, Arlene Foster from a conference. I mean, who is running the Brexit negotiations? You know, it looked like that little bit was being done from Belfast, and surely they should just be saying to the DUP, look, uh, you know, if you're backing us here, you're in here, and, uh, you know, just do what we're saying to you. If you want to be British, then you go along with the British government. Scotland doesn't want to be British. As far as I understand, Northern Ireland want to remain in the European Union. That would be the best thing for us. Then there would be no border problems. So what actually I think should happen, right, either Brexit doesn't happen, or in name only, we can rescind Article 50 right now. We've still got plenty of time and just say, look, we're sorry about that. I mean, they're no strangers to you turning the government, you know, absolute, excuse me every second. They're no strangers to you turning, so that's not going to be a problem. Massive U turn, you know, back we come. Oh, just square off the cap. There we are, get the bonnet right. Massive U turn there. And um, there you go. Scotty, you fair know your stuff. I do, Alex, because I was around before there were any search engines. So I had to learn and read and talk to people and discuss and all that sort of stuff. So I suppose I should be doing political programs on the television if I'm absolutely upfront about it. But there you are. But I also like to do my own thing as well um but uh, if they're uh, if they're needing a bit of advice on uh, political broadcasting scotty mcclue is your man so what i'm suggesting here right is that london comes out of the eu mrs may takes london out of the eu and uh, and the southeast and all that that'll keep your brexiteers e-a-r-s brexiteers that'll keep them uh, happy and then the rest of the country stays in so the north of england scotland wales northern ireland all remain in europe and brexit goes ahead for london so they are everybody's happy uh, Scotty, is it wise to ban people for banter? As that's a form of censorship. I've never banned anybody for banter. This guy from Coatbridge was positively rude. And I think he was also an anti-monarchist, you know. Got to watch that. And um, as you're an independent broadcaster, you should be against any forms of this. Just saying, says Chris Harley. Chris Harley, you're more than right to say because I 100% agree with you. There are Jim Robin, Gardner Diesel search engines. Ah, Jim Robin in Canada. Dinky do. No, the Gardner Diesel now. Lawrence Gardner, outside his uh, workshop in Manchester, they moved to Patrycroft, round the corner from where I lived in Manchester, but outside his workshop in Manchester, Lawrence Gardner had L. Gardner Machinist. And his machining was to such an accurate level that these old Gardner engines, they weren't known as diesels, they were known as heavy oil engines, actually only had one gasket, and that was on the cylinder head. And you had to have that just to take up any, uh, any movement there, just to keep everything nice and tight. His machining was so good that everything else just butted up perfectly. Lawrence Gardner, Gardner Engines. There you go. London voted Remain. The North of England voted to leave Scotty. Well, okay, after James Wright, let's change that around. London remains. The North of England leaves. 
Scotland remains. Scotland remains. And there you are. Uh, William Davidson's watching. Thank you, dear William Davidson. Martin Rowe. Evening, Scotty. Very busy getting lights and tea ready for the day. I've just tuned in. Welcome, welcome. And uh, nothing wrong with being an anti-monarchist, says Ian Walker. Uh, ooh, Ian, I think there's a lot wrong with being an anti-monarchist. Uh, we are the future, not the past. No, no, you're the past. You all tried it with uh, with poor wee Jamie Stewart in the 1600s. And uh, you were so frightened to actually do it, to put the king to death, that uh, there's a black mark in the clock. You didn't do it till I think it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon or something. Uh, Scotty, what do you think of Glasgow Council banning diesel engines and many petrol cars from Glasgow City Centre? I think Glasgow City Centre is getting too fly. I drove into Glasgow City Centre once and a street I was quite used to going down, a guy stopped me and directed me elsewhere. And it was for the buses. And I think the buses have been lobbying. Now tell me what virtually every bus and taxi runs on. Aha, diesel. So there you are. Uh, if there was another EU referendum vote, it would be a resounding remain. The Tories should be ashamed of themselves for the lies they have spun. Well, there's only certain Tories. I mean, there's quite a few remainers in the Tories as well, Gary Crossan. But I agree with you. There were tremendous lies. And what should happen is now, only now, should the referendum be taking place. So they should have gone to the EU and said, look, what would be involved and what would it cost us to leave? The EU said, ooh, round about 50 billion, might be as much as 100, something like that, and we'd need blah, blah, blah. Then they should have said, right, let us go back, do our sums. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to put it to the country, and we're going to have to, have to tell the truth, the truth. So there you go. Uh, Sonia Scott Mackay, Dinky Do, one of our finest agents is watching Dinky Do and a delightful, delightful lady. Um, so there we go. Referendum based on lies that should be debated again, then voted on. Ian Walker couldn't agree more with you. There you are. See? Uh, where's the Christmas tree, Scotty? says Gary Crossan. Are you talking in your house or in mine? <clears throat> Uh, now, John Anderson, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Ian Johnston is watching, lovely to have you with us as well. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live right now as we speak. Come and give us your feedback. Come and get in touch. Uh, after James Wright, my hero's an anti-monarchist. So there we are. And Brexit, the beast of balls over. Dennis Skinner, now I have to say, I do have a tremendous amount of time for Dennis Skinner. So there you are. Great character. Regardless of your politics, you've got to have time for these characters. And uh, coming out of uh, the Union, I mean, Scotland, it shouldn't be political at all. So there you are. All of the Scottish Parliament should economically debate what's best for Scotland and come out. There we are. Mr Farage. Uh, has shown his true colours. So there are by taking his enormous pension off the EU. Well, there you are. Well, he's due it. He's paid into it. Uh, Lynn Donnelly's watching one of our finest coiffeurs and hair designers. She's even done Scotty McClure's. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? So there you are. Um, I might get a comb over like Mr. Trump, but I was thinking if Mr. Trump's hair is a fashion statement, how come his is the only one I've seen? Uh, you're right, Scotty, banning diesel and petrol cars from Glasgow City Centre. Not long ago, we were told how rich we would be with oil. But now we're banning most fossil fuels in our own country, says Martin Monin. You're quite right, we are rich with oil. It's just there's been a bit of jiggery-pokery. Somebody's pokled the books down at Westminster and put in that the oil was from an unknown source. Uh, I used to go out with a girl who was actually so heavy that um, when she wore high heels, she struck oil. There you are. Uh, Scotty, you need to set to the public. Some are not able to view. Ian Johnson, what do you mean I should be set to public? Where do I find this? Right? As far as I know, my video is public. So there you are. Have they um, signed up with Scotty McClure? Have they agreed to take notifications? What am I not doing? Scotty, you need to set public. You need to tell me more about this. I've got a whole range of um, buttons in front of me here. 
I've got one that looks like a television with an arrow down. I've got one that looks like a G Person Plus. I've got um, all that. Is that the public one? So they are. There's always a guy who thinks he's Jesus in Kirkcaldy. So there you are. Well, I think everybody in Kirkcaldy feel that they've been touched by the hand of God. Um, Scotty, do you think the capital of Israel should be in Kirkcaldy? So there you are. The Langton. Very, very interesting. I think, uh, should we change the capital of Scotland to Glasgow? Our Damon Pantomime, James Barry just asked if you still have the same opinion on the wooden toilet seats. He used to listen to you years ago, but I let him listen to you on the way home on a Sunday, says Alex Robinson. Yes, I do. The taxi drivers with the fitted carpets and the wooden toilet seats. <coughs> Ian Johnson says it's showing friends only. Where is it showing that, Ian? No, don't go public, Scotty. No, how do I go public, guys? What do I do? Which one do I press? <coughs> you have to forgive me. I've had a touch of the logger this week, so appalling cough. Mm. Oh, we're at the barley water. Now, I've got something that looks like a little wand with a star on the end of it. This is on the bottom line here. I've got two arrows, so that would be for changing the camera around. I've got a zigzag with a plus on it, like a big Z <coughs> squeezed in at the edges. I've got uh, people with a small thing and a big people plus. Is that public? I wonder. How do we know? I don't want to touch it in case we lose the broadcast. So there you are. Um, so it's showing friends only, says Ian Johnson. Colin Gobreth's watching. Well, I must have a lot of friends, Ian Johnson, if it's showing friends only. But if anybody could tell me which one to go public, that's the line up at the bottom. I should take a picture and show you it. Like you see... What is what there? That would be amazing. Right, now, uh, I think it's time coming up for another share, guys. Can everybody share, 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 share. Um, hit them all, says John Anderson. No, don't press the wand. You'll end up in Hogwarts. <laughs> I wish you could see this. I don't know where my phone is. I would take a picture and show you all the little characters down the bottom. And you could tell me which one would take us public. So there we go. Because they're always changing things each time you come on. It's a, you need to choose globe. I don't have a globe. There isn't a globe here. Well, there is a big G. It looks like a, a small loaf with a circle on top and a big plus beside it. Uh, John Anderson. Uh, so there we are. If you were to change the capital of Scotland from Edinburgh, it's got to be Inverness. Beautiful city, Scotland. But the river's a bit shallow in Inverness. Not two black silhouettes. So there you are, Ian Johnson. Gordon Stilling's watching. Gordon Stilling, did you hear me tell the nation, the world, about Lawrence Gardner and the heavy oil engine? So there we are. Uh, welcome, welcome, Gordon Stilling. Come and join us. Let us know. I know it's your bath night and, uh, you know, you'll be getting yourself sorted out. It's a small down arrow. No, I don't have that, Ian. I've got one that looks like a telly set with an arrow sticking out the bottom. I've got one that looks like a person with a plus. Wait, let's see if I can show you this one. Right, this one, I'll show you it. Right, and see what you think. This one looks like that. Can you see that? So that I've got that one, right, and then I've got a smaller version of that okay small version of that uh, with another even smaller version of that so i've got see the little one i've got that right and then i've got beside it right i'll just draw this one for you guys so you can see what we've got here and you can uh, advise me Advice for old McClue. The one at the bottom, I've got that one. Can you see that one? Right, I've got that. Then beside it, I've got the two arrows, which mean the camera. Right, two arrows going. That would uh, reverse the camera. So we've got these. See up the top, that there. And then I've got the wand. Now the wand, I'll just draw the wand for you. So that you can see that, guys. Um, there you go. 
the wand, and I do not know what the wand actually does, uh, but it looks like that, right? So there's the wand. As you can see, I'm a very, very fine artist. There's the wand. I've got the wand. I've got that for the camera. I've got the big boy here and the wee boy here and that one. So there we go. So what do we have there? All you technicians. There you are. Picasso. I am your man. It's a small down arrow. Says Ian Johnson. Ian Johnson, we do not have a small down arrow. Oh, there's one I haven't drawn you. That's the telly screen with a little down arrow coming out like that. See that? I've got that one there. Right? Is it that by any chance? Okay, that's what I've got in front of me. So all the technicians. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, a guy's just eaten a pig's personal piece. Get me out of here. Can I trump you two after dinner chocolate mints last week? Not while well, I had my two chocolate mints. I had the packet of crisps. I had the uh, two Scottish water biscuits. And I had, uh, what was the last one? Oh, yes. A slice of lemon. And a slice of lemon. So there we are, Gordon Stilling, excellent stuff. Uh, so that's that. Are you in the Illuminati? Says Ian Walker. No, don't be silly. The Illuminati doesn't exist because if it did, Ian Walker, then surely Scotty McClue would be in the Illuminati. Uh, McClue, I heard you sharing your gardener engine knowledge with the audience. I can send you some video clips of a gardener 6LXB. That will get the juices flowing. The 6LXB, lovely. Now, um, when Winston Churchill died, everybody was obviously giving it <laughs> boo-hoo, but um, I was more interested uh, on uh, BBC, of course, you had the late Richard Dimbleby doing the commentary, and a very, very fine broadcaster, our Richard Dimbleby, David and Jonathan's father, the late father. Uh, excellent. And poor Richard died, I think he was just in his, in his 50s. Um, and um, anyway, he was doing the BBC commentary, but uh, ITV had um, Richard Burton doing the wonderful commentary. And uh, of course, the, uh, the little Haven Gore, the launch from the Port of London Authority, uh, built at uh, Tufts of Teddington in 1956, and she was the launch for the hydrographers. They used to go down and see there was enough water. And the day of Churchill's funeral, January 1966, right, a Saturday, they were very lucky with the tide, so they were able to take them up river um, on the uh, on on the Haven Gore or the Haven Gore, which has just been restored. And she, as far as I remember, had two gardeners. I think there were eight LXBs in her and for me one of the great highlights of listening to a recording of winston churchill's funeral is a the voice of richard burton who i am a massive massive fan of and um the sound of the two eight lxbs sitting at tower wharf ticking over while they waited for um, the great oak coffin of uh, the great old englishman to be taken on board so you can just hear there you are. How about that, Gordon Sterling? Do you like my impersonation of the Gardner heavy oil engine? Uh, so there we are. A new driving test, says Ian Walker. Ian Johnson, I use PC. You must be on a Mac. No, I'm not on a Mac. I'm on a, a tablet. So there you are. I'm on a tablet. Uh, and I've got these. These are fairly new signs. I don't remember seeing these, but they're always bringing something out. Uh, Stuart Main's watching. Robert Collins, dinky do. Hearing you loud and clear, Faye. The Hairy Oakster Islands in South Korea. Marvellous stuff. So there you are. Right, so uh, that's what I'm on. If anybody knows which one of these symbols means go public, then do let me know. I was just wondering about that one there. You know, magnificent drawings. And I was just wondering about that one there, if that might be any good. Uh, what happened to the fat Bob Scotty? Haven't a clue, Dinky White. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty, says Robert Collins. Excellent, Dinky Doo, and a very, very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live 
on the big one. We're on Facebook Live, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone is talking about. Obviously, because we've moved the show to nine o'clock, you'll find that uh, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here is hard up against us for audience. They will still get some audience, though, uh, even although Scotty McClure is on. Scotty, what's Santa bringing you? Scott Beattie's watching, Dinky Doo. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty, says Robert Collins. Uh, excellent, lovely to have you with us. Get yourself on the laptop, Scotty, and your options for changing from friends only to public will be easier, says Jim Robin. Jim Robin, do you recognise any of them? I mean, it should always be public, Scotty McClure. You know, there just shouldn't be a problem, but I don't want to click on one of these. Let me show you again, Jim Robin. You know, I wondered if it might be that one but as i say i don't want to click on something and then suddenly find that it shuts the whole thing down so i've got this little row along the bottom here and that's what they look like you'll enjoy my picassas but there we are but if we're going if we're private then you know we'll need to people will just need to catch up during the week so there we are they do that anyway also can you share during the week anything with scotty McLean on it guys Let's have it straight. This started just as a tiny bit of fun. We're on show number 60. Now, is that not amazing? Show number 60, right? So there you are. Uh, excellent stuff. There will be a wee arrow on your page. Click and press edit privacy and make public. Right, well, hang on. I'm on the laptop. Uh, Jim Robin, if I go on the laptop as well... Would, would I be able to do it from there? Perhaps you could guide me, Jim Robin, right? I've got the laptop here, so I'm on the laptop. Excellent stuff. Uh, I'll just get the Facebook uh, one for this. Oh, hold on two seconds, guys. So there we are, big menu, this. Big menu. Right, there's Facebook up. So where do I find the arrow? For going public and uh, for going private that's what we need to find out okay so i've got facebook up and uh, i'm looking at it right now and if anybody can help me there uh, isn't that captain flink's treasure map you've got there scotty it does look a bit like the old flint treasure map Aha! we don't want the black spot i'll tell you that for nothing uh, not certain on the tablet, Jim Robin. I'm not on the tablet. I've got the tablet, but behind me, I've got the PC as well. So if you can guide me on the PC, that should work for the tablet as well. Am I right or am I not? I don't know. Uh, yes, try in a spare machine. The laptop proves the seconds when you press live. So there you are. Up top, two silhouettes side by side. Up top. Two silhouettes side by side by side. There we are. Up top where, Jim? Uh, I've got all the names of my pages and friends down one side. Uh, the other side. So up top, I've got home. I've got uh, notifications. I've got messages. Oh, two, two people side by side. Right. Change that to a globe. So wait a minute. Change that to a globe. So the two people side by side, right? Stick with me, guys. We will get this sorted. Two people side by side. That seems to be friend requests, Jim Robin. So there we are. Uh, click the friends option on your wee sheet. Friends option on the wee sheet. Which is friends? Which one's that? The wee sheet. Wait, there's the wee sheet. Which one are we talking about? Is the friends option. So I'll tell you that. Uh, not the very top above your broadcast ah right so there we are wait a minute then hold on we will sort this guys there's a uh, history being made on facebook here it's wonderful stuff right there's the broadcast excellent stuff so just above the broadcast wow this is amazing jim uh, right so just above the broadcast yep i've got i'll just put you all there um what have we got Oh, yes, I see, I see, I see. Right. Brilliant. Now, guys, we should be seeing a difference. Scotty McClue should have just gone public just for you, Dinky Doo. Is that right? I've just tried it, says Ben Lucas. Uh, so there we are. The switch behind you turns the lamp off, Elgin, says Ian. Ian, we're in a, a, a minor crisis here. You're not helping by going on like that. 
click on live as usual then a white panel appears on the right see the button to change to friends public etc now we should now have gone live is that right guys have we actually gone a uh, public can anybody check so there we are there's somebody's off david sharp bye for now keep up the good work bye thanks david sharp dinky do to you i'll just give you a big thumbs up there we are and uh, and we will see what's what brian keswick's watching ah i can see you now says martin monaghan brilliant can anyone see if it's set to public say uh, ben lucas can we check if we've set to public so there you are um so what's your take scotty and he mentions a big banking family do you believe that they are a few and others like them wealthy who make or break governments well all governments are dependent on financiers that's how it works whereas it should be the other way around financiers should be dependent on governments so there you are and governments should just get together say they're wiping out the debt um scotty uh, what about a that woman and he mentions the famous broadcast slagging off the people who slept out in princess street gardens for the homeless anybody that, that does that does not get mcclue's vote or support in fact they're not even worthy of mention uh, i've not been able to find you tonight scotty says paul mccully right see how it's doing now paul have you have you found me now i ask you has that been a problem have we lost a good bit of the first start of the broadcast is everyone going to have to get it uh, enter smug mode jim robin you should be in a smug mode that's fantastic have i gone public can you tell me jim robin so there you are uh, and sh has everybody managed to find me now so there you are have you found scotty mcclue live on facebook live big style so there we are just me making a funny face i can't see anyone to comment on your live show scotty i'll work it out eventually yes you will uh, the squaring off of the bonnet there square the bonnet off very important dennis hamilton's watching dinky do very good to have you with us right now can everybody tell me is this broadcast public now all right see if you get me some some uh, still busy says frank conbury yes i'm busy all the time frank uh, scotty you can see me now i'm sitting in the city uh, naked eating a trifle too much information uh, this better not be public because they'll all want a bit absolutely time for a share yes i think so what an excellent time to choose for a share can everybody watching scotty mcglue right now share 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 very very important and uh, anybody that knows their way around the signs there you go these are the signs if you can tell me which one uh, takes us public if any so there we go very very important it's public now scotty says ian johnson ian johnson i thank you very very much indeed very much appreciated uh, what about uh, sharing to big pages yes share everywhere very very important millions should be watching this program millions so any ideas that you guys have for taking it further and further into the depths of the internet do let me know we seem to have lost sandy howden scotty says alfred james right you never ever lose sandy howden very clever man he's just a little bit misguided when it comes to um to politics mm. in my opinion right you're welcome thank you ian johnson very much appreciated and um, what about sharing to the big pages yes well all of you can do that very very important you should be able to do that for me very interesting to be watching the broadcast i'm just going to sit you all there it's very interesting to be watching the broadcast here guys and um, and seeing what's what as time goes on so there we are it's got it here that it's um this is sitting as a solid video on mine i'll refresh it and see what happens there's definitely something funny going on. So there we are. Simon O's watching. Dinky do, Simon. That's the same signs on the wall of Jerusalem the Crusaders made. So see him, Johnson. Ian Johnson. What nonsense are you talking? I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about. 
and the one everyone is watching. I'm well aware that I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, is on the go, but they will still get an audience, I am quite sure. I don't think that's going to be a problem. So there you are. And um, I'll just see if I can share this broadcast myself. Right, watch this, guys, and tell if you get it shared. All right, what I'm doing is I'm just seeing if I can actually share it. There we are, sharing. Okay, so I've just shared the broadcast. Tell me if that pops into your inbox and everything else. Scotty McClue has just shared the broadcast with you, Dinky Doo. I'll also see if I could share one or two other things. It's time we actually got, um, so are you getting that? Right, see if you can get up this one. Scotty McClue, the world's brightest rising star. Has that just come up for you? Right, that should be posting. Uh, so there we are, we're adding that. And um, also we've got the news flash from uh, from walking the dog this afternoon have you seen that one i'll share that with you and you can tell me if you get that right very very important and then we'll see what's what if anyone's got any ideas about opening the show up uh, even wider please do let me know very very important that i see so here we are that's just coming up please tell me if you get that as well uh, now, that's the same size as the Wall of Jerusalem. We've done that one. That's absolutely fine. So there you are. Scotty, do you think Trump will build the Great Wall of America? No, I don't think so, actually. I don't see it. Scotty, your face is going skeletal, then back to skeletal again. Stop pressing buttons. Okay. Hands up. There we are. So there we go. I uh, haven't pressed any buttons. Uh, uh, Sean, I don't think... Trump will be building that, to be quite honest with you. Um, so there you are. I think he's got enough in his plate. Shared with nearly 100,000, says Martin Monaghan. Martin, that's fabulous. Thank you very, very much. All that's appreciated. Guys, even if you've got one or two followers, then uh, share. But if you've got 100,000, then share. Very, very important. And uh, we will see if we can get everybody joining us. So there you are. If you think... Just one wee guy, Scotty McClue, everybody knows him. So there you are, live on Facebook Live, on a broadcast platform, uh, which everybody knows, why not? Evening from Barnsley, Scotty. So sorry, I've just tuned in, I've been watching I'm a Celeb Final. But uh, I thought I'd catch the last 10 minutes of your show. Apologies for being late. No, no, I think I'm a Celeb still getting an audience, although they're right hard up against Scotty McClue on a Sunday night. Is it the final tonight? Uh, try YouTube broadcasting too. More audiences, Ben Lucas. Well, of course, Ben Lucas, have you got on to YouTube and you've seen uh, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? There we are. Uh, Trump couldn't build a bonfire, says so Steve Burrows. <laughs> I'm glad you're not on a nuclear sub. There's hundreds of buttons on that. Yeah, but well, I wouldn't be able to draw them because they'd be secret. But, you know, I don't know that any will look like that, Ian Walker. So there you go. Uh, and then I would have a job drawing them anyway, of course. But uh, I would never be so base as to do that. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the World Stop broadcast platform, Facebook Live. This is the big one. And uh, it might be worth staying on a minute after I'm a Celeb. When does I'm a Celeb finish? And uh, we might stay on. Uh, when it, you're now UK wide, says Martin Monaghan. Thank you, Martin. Very much appreciated. That is absolutely excellent. And uh, yes, we can look at YouTube. I mean, this is show number 60 on Facebook Live. Now, that's not bad, guys. Okay, show number 60. It started off as a bit of five minute fun. Friend of mine suggested, he's probably kicking himself now. Friend of mine suggested, why don't you try Facebook Live? And I clicked on the icon, and up we go. Up Periscope with Scotty McClue. We're on Periscope. We broadcast on Periscope as well, absolutely. And uh, 10.30, says Peter. Ah, they're on to 10.30. Ah, well, no point. Now, is it? it's not on next week. Is that right? Next Sunday. So our audience will all come absolutely flying back. I think we should have a hard border with Kirkcaldy. Plus a wall. You don't need to. You've got the fourth there, Ian. You know, and the other road, the road via the, uh, the, the the other wee brig, you know, I mean, it's not used that much, is it? It finishes at 22.35, Scotty. No, we finish at 10 o'clock sharp. 
so there you are. Uh, now you're going to have to pay back. It's my birthday, Scotty. Do I get a song? Says Ian Johnson. Yes, of course, Ian Johnson. You deserve a song for your birthday. Uh, so there we go. Uh, now, uh, the hard border. What did you think of uh, what Mrs. May did this week? I mean, it's obviously been hailed by the in crowd as fantastic stuff. But has there been anything at all? Or have they just agreed you give us 39 billion and we'll see what's what? Uh, Shirley Cooper's watching. A very warm welcome to you, Shirley Cooper. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one. And uh, Scotty, is your care on half time after seven? Says Ian Walker. Don't be cheeky, Ian. So there we are. You, you know where the line is. Don't cross the line. Uh, so excellent stuff. But um, right, Lee Fern, thank you for that information. This is the way to get informed, educated and entertained, folks. Watch Scotty McClue live and you will never, ever go wrong because you always get the truth. Can you believe we are show number 60? Now, do us a favour. I know you might get fed up with it sometimes, but share, 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 share all week. Let's build up the World Stock Talk Show. Uh, bloody cheek, hard border at Kirkcaldy, says Dave Llewellyn. Or is it Dave Llewellyn? There we are. Are you Mr. Llewellyn? So there, have I said it right? 39 billion to pretty much go on as we are. Well done, Brexiteers, says Peter Martin. Is this not from the lady that said there's no money tree? And then she found some money for her friends in the north. Friends in the north. Any chance of coming back to Hallam FM, Scotty? I guess it's a daft question, because you need to broadcast to a national audience. But Lee Fern, I thoroughly enjoyed Hallam FM. And I was visiting the station, um, now wait till we see, five years later. I was sitting in the station in Sheffield in the general office. And the phone went, and there was no one else around. And I picked it up and said, Hallam FM, good afternoon. And this voice said, oh, good afternoon. I wonder if you can tell us when so-and-so's on. I said, uh, yes, we have a can. I said, hang on, are you him? I said, I beg your pardon. I said, are you him, Scotty McAloo? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, ah, oh, I love you. My husband loves you and all. Now, this is after five years and something like one line on a telephone. Do you know what I mean? Not bad, not bad. Excuse me a wee second. Just having a quick comfort break. The studio is absolutely roasting tonight right i think the missus must be cooking do you think frank spencer should be the brexit secretary instead of <laughs> there we go uh stuart buck is watching bring him on uh, absolutely and um, so there we are so in answer to your question i would love to come back to hallam fm someday and do you a phone in because it's a fabulous radio station you can't get this on the bbc folks says ian johnson no you can't ian so there you are this is pure broadcasting non-biased broadcasting brexit's like monty python no one knows what the other one does somebody said to me in walker recently they said do you know scotty one of the reasons we love your shows we never know what you're going to say next i said no neither do i so there you are proper celeb now scotty says lee fern absolutely would you like to see scotty mcclue on i'm a celebrity get me out of here right do tell us. I mean, pop down at a quick yes or no. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, what about, oh, no, 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 Jordan Monroe. Uh, after all the slagging Kirkcaldy's getting. So there we are. Um, lol, says Ian Walker. Yes, absolutely lol to you, Ian Walker. Very, very important. And that share there, did that work? Let me try it again, guys, and see if it works. Even if I do go... A little bit skew with it's quite interesting to see if we can get that working so there we go scotty McLuhan, 30 minutes and um, it's all happening here and um, wonderful wonderful stuff the people that i've had getting in touch saying scotty could you tutor me on how to broadcast like you do on a sunday night and i thought well yes of course so there you are uh, every anything's possible folks never ever give up right here we go um I'm going to share it now and see what happens. Let me know what happens, right? Send this to friends and post it on your timeline. It says, so this is coming up now. 
there we are i know it would actually help but scotty mcclure um knew what he was doing on here so wonderful wonderful stuff right uh to digress after trying all sorts of anti-smoking aids to quit the awful habit i've come up with a surefire method of success seven months ago i pinky promised my granddaughter that i would never and it says see more that i can't risk uh, clicking see more unless i can do it on the computer hold on a second maybe i can i pinky promise there it's there let me just deal with this guys i'm moving you about here i know fantastic stuff but let me see if we can deal with this right there's david so he's gone pinky promised uh you oh yes my granddaughter i would never smoke again i have now been seven months free of the evil weed as you cannot break a pinky promise that is absolutely true so there we are i was watching uh, a comedian at lunchtime today and he said that um his wife and him had come to an arrangement that they would only smoke after six he said he had the same pack he'd had since 1975 he said but his wife was up to three packs a day. <laughs> so there we go um definitely take your squeeze box into the jungle with you says ian walker hello scotty get yourself on celebrity the ratings would go through the roof says steve burrows i nearly got into the final of big brother scotty uh, that diagram you drew is on bbc2 at 10 15 bletchley park codes <laughs> oh wonderful stuff so there we are i do love it it's fantastic stuff right if you've just joined us a very warm welcome you're watching scotty McClure. you're late we start at nine o'clock sharp on a Sunday night, nine o'clock, you need to be with us. I'd love to see you on I'm a Celeb, but would you really eat bugs, Scotty? Yeah. Well, I did my challenges. You look at show 58. You'll see me do four challenges. You'll see it on there. Show number 58 you're looking for. You'll see me do four challenges. I put on my Australian hat. I think I've still got it, right? So I put on my Australian hat, okay? Like that. And that was us in Australia, in the jungle, talking away in Australian. So we do that. And then I uh, I, I went into Geordie. So I was like our two wee friends. And I was speaking like that. And I did four challenges. Challenge one was a packet of crisps in under 30 seconds. Challenge two was two Scottish water biscuits. And uh, we done them. We done, I've got to say we done them because that's the way they speak. Uh, Geordies, Geordies, I mean, right? We done them in, uh, in 15 seconds, and then we had two chocolate mints. And the last challenge, challenge four, challenge four was a slice of lemon. So there you go, absolutely. So you'll see that that's a uh, show 38. Quick change, who's in charge of props? I saw it, Scotty. Uh, so there we are, Scotty. Get a contract with Bobby at the Clansman for McClue's pies. <laughs> I'll say my joke if I was in still game. I would be at the bar and then that pair would come in and I would say, Oh, while I've got my wallet out, Bobby, I'd like you to give these two nothing. Right. Uh, good day, Cobba. Absolutely, Cobba. Okay, Bruce. You looked like George Galloway with that hat on, says Dave Llewellyn. George Galloway's actually banned me from his Twitter account, and I shall tell you for why. He'd put that he was the mother of all talk shows. I said, you may be the mother of all talk shows, but Scotty McClue is the daddy of them all. Banned. I wonder why. So there you are. And you do, Jonathan Watson. Yes, Jonathan and I were students together. Um, how do I share, Scotty? I normally see share near the comments box, but it isn't there, says Lee Fern. Aha. Well, it should be there, Lee, unless uh, your setup's not letting you share. Sometimes I think it says, no, 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 you've shared enough. Crocodile McClure. Yes, absolutely. And why not say dinky do? Right. I've got to dash because we're out of time. It's been fabulous tonight. What a brilliant show. We're up against a major, major, major television series. Uh, and uh, Scotty McClure's here. And we get an audience. Now, do me a favor. Share everything you see with Scotty McClure on it. If you've got a spare pound or fiver, stick it into Scotty McClure's PayPal. You'll see that on the Facebook page. Stick it into GoFundMe, www.gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClure. Stick it in there. I'm on my S8 phone, says Lee. Ah, 
Don't ask me about an essay if only my, I can only dream of that. Bye bye, big man, says Sean McCormick. My neighbour's just done a sketch uh, show with Mr. Watson, and I've done a sketch myself, Ian Walker. Think you do? This is Scotty McClue wishing every single one of you a fabulous week. Join us next Sunday, God willing, weather permitting, at nine o'clock sharp. Until then, I bid you goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of wheat of vain, au revoir, and a cheery oh. Love you lots, guys. Scotty McClue has left the building. Dinky-doo.